right here in Hull. There'll be a place so extraordinary, so unlike any other. Close your eyes, make a wish. What do you see? And we'll share our innovation with the local population, bringing quite the revelation to this well-deserving town. It's the ultimate vacation from the greatest destination. Creating original musicals and adaptations is a passion for the artistic directors of company theater. When veteran theater director and award-winning playwright Zoe Bradford began to delve into the history of the park, she and her collaborator, Michael Hammond, made some exciting discoveries. We found that this playland for the Victorian, Bostonian, well-to-do crowd, uh, it, it just held this world of fascinating characters. Many of the characters in our musical are based on actual people, and their stories are so fascinating that we decided to put together a musical in the tradition of ragtime. Floretta Vining, editor of the Hull Beacon and president of the Society Against Naughty Lovers, tried to ignore the coming change to her sheltered community. A colorful and unforgettable character, she railed against the rich, the vacationers, and most of all, the park people. Victoria Weinstein is excited to originate this role. And it's easy to laugh at Floretta's Victorian morality, but you know, she worked very hard and she never needed to work. She was that wealthy. And she, she had great influence in her time and she made it in a man's world as a woman. One of our greatest challenges was to create this character, George A. Dodge, because there's very little written about him. There are no known photographs. So we found an obituary in the Boston Globe, and in it we found this hook. It was his rag to riches story. He started out as a cabin boy, and then he worked his way up to be one of the most successful whaling moguls in all of New England. Then one day he just retired from seafaring life and created this park on Nantasket Beach in Hull, and here was an around the world theme, very much like Disney's Epcot. One day, a woman showed up at Company Theater with a vast collection of old photographs from the park's Palm Garden. They were mostly shots of showgirls, and on the back, written with great flair, was commentary signed by George A. Dodge. His showman-like style of writing only confirmed we were on the right track with the creation of his character. musical such as Paragon Park requires a team of costumers headed by longtime company theatre designer Shirley Carney. Co-author Bradford is also a set designer. She made two detailed sketches from vintage photographs. She then engaged the talent of scenic artist Laura McPherson, who created wonderfully rich and colorful backdrops from these sketches at her studio barn in North Carolina. The cast of 43 and a 20-piece orchestra will be under the direction of Michael Joseph. Well, working on a new musical is a challenge, and uh, th with that comes a lot of responsibility of being honest and true to the composer, and I'm thrilled to be working with such a great composer as Adam Brooks. The third element of any musical score, of course, is going to be the orchestrations, and we have fantastic orchestrations by Jerry Sykes, and actually, and in many ways, they're the glue that holds all these stylistic decades together. So she's created a really beautiful soundscape for each period that is evocative of things you may have heard on television or things that you may have heard in, um, say, a minstrel show back in the 20s or uh, a vaudeville show. The creative team found the ideal composer in Adam Brooks, a young, ambitious musician from Boston who immediately connected to the grand scope of a story driven by history and romance. Paragon Park is based on everything I've heard from Zoe and from Michael and from everyone who has talked to me about it, is so near and dear to so many people's hearts and just excited me to want to write music. Creating a musical is an inspiring, exciting collaboration that's like no other. It really is um, very special, very challenging, very um, time consuming for sure. Mm -hmm. But, but, but the, it, it suddenly it's this creation of, of people coming to life. Now I have a show that I think embodies that, uh, that want to uh, 
uh, to go on one last ride. Here we go.